Alrighty then, Leo. I had mentioned in my video about fellow fire sign Aries that as a Sagittarian, I'm supposed to get along with Leo's and Aries people, and that I've really not seen that to be the case. And even though that's been my own personal experience, I do see some really great traits that come from Leo. And one positive trait is that they can be very warm, very sunny, ruled by the sun. They have this larger than life quality that kind of radiates out and warms everybody. You know, there's this friendliness and you have the sense of well-being when you're around this type of Leo person. And this makes them great leaders. And that's another positive trait that they can have. I said they can have. Um, they can be great leaders. They can show off those great leadership skills if they keep it positive. And so they make wonderful bosses wonderful, wonderful teachers, you know, wonderful uh, managers, people that you would want to work for. Um, they have this innate kind of radar that, you know, exhibits dignity to each person when they are on the positive side, that they don't um, demean people when they are on the right track. That's not something that they would do. So they can um, come across as very kind hearted and very noble. There's a nobility about them. You know, um, Leo is associated with um, royalty, you know, kings and queens. And when they keep it positive, they can show off the best side of that, the dignified side. Another great quality of Leo's is their creative ability. Um, Leo is the ruler of the fifth house and the fifth house, one of it, one of the attributes of the fifth house is creativity. And so they can be great actors. They, they can be very dramatic and you know, even if they're not involved in acting, they can give the impression of being quite the character. But they can, they might like to paint. They might like to write. Um, whatever they do, they do with flourish. But they tend, to, when, they, when they're creative, they tend to do more of the self-expression when they're using their own bodies. So they might be dancers, they might be actors, they might be singers, things that they can showcase their own personalities um, rather than, you know, a writer that's kind of hiding behind um, the anonymity of their pen. Um, the the uh, Leo is more of a born performer. I think that's the best way of putting it. And, you know, they can be really great to watch. The shadow side, okay. <laughs> Being larger than life, their shadow qualities can be larger than life too. I think the biggest one that people notice is the need to be the center of attention. And that's the sun. The sun is a center of our uh, you know, the universe, you know, this is the thing that warms us, but the sun can burn us, can't it? And the dark side, the shadow self of the Leo is a kind of an insecurity driven need to be the center of attention at all times, the diva quality. And that lends itself to another negative quality which is arrogance. And again, these traits are not manifested in all Leo per people. It happens, um, you know, if the sun is quite afflicted, what happens is, is that the person 
does not feel, uh, they feel blocked. You know, if they're like a, a lot of squares, they might feel blocked in their self-expression. And for Leo, especially, this is very frustrating and can cause them to doubt themselves. And when they doubt themselves, they tend to exhibit the weakened aspect of this, which manifests itself in just a show-offy tendency that's really quite um, annoying to other people, but also to be arrogant and to, to act like they're better than other people, which is not how the sign of Leo is supposed to act. In other words, haughtiness, you know, acting too cool for the room type of deal. And um, so these qualities um, can be very hard to um, handle when you're trying to get along with a Leo person. I should say that another one of their positive traits is loyalty as, an, as a fixed sign. They will believe the best in someone till the end. And that really feels great, you know, when you're a friend of a Leo person or the child, the parent of a Leo person, the child of a Leo person, they will never give up on you if they like you in the first place. And so that same fixed loyalty can unfortunately work its way into the shadow aspect where Leos can be very um, self-indulgent, kind of in a way like Taurus. In, in the Leo's case, um, they can be the kind of person that likes the nightlife. Um, they're one of the more lustier signs. I would put them up there with uh, Aries. And Taurus, although Taurus is more of a homebody. And they're more likely to be monogamous. But uh, ever heard of Mick Jagger? <laughs> uh, he's a Leo. Now, he should be the poster child for all Leos. But Mick Jagger has a lot of great qualities, too. I mean, he's a very disciplined person. I mean, the guy is in his, is in his 70s. He lived through the hedonistic 60s and, early, and 70s and is very disciplined in uh, what he does in his life. And he's always been fit, never been, um, overweight or, you know, uh, he's, he's just, um, totally energetic, always been on top of his game, but you know, he had, he has that tendency to uh, have a roving eye and he has, um, you know, some Leo people might even have sex addictions. And I believe that a lot of sex addictions stem from a need for constant adoration. It may not even be just the actual sex drive. And so there, there can be this narcissistic behavior that comes from a Leo person, but also when they have some kind of a bad habit, like a drug habit, they can tend to stay mired in it for a long time, being a fixed sign. And also maybe being kind of proud and not wanting to admit that they have a problem. You know, David Crosby is a Leo and he's another poster child. He's, he's a very warm, sunny personality, but he had a terrible um, problem with drugs for many years. And Whitney Houston, you know, need we say more? That's a very tragic situation. Another Leo who fell by the wayside. I, I shouldn't say another because David Crosby is doing great now, but um, Whitney Houston was somebody that didn't make it. And it's sad because Leo being a positive sign, being a fire sign, um, when they can really, you know, f find, you know, humble themselves enough to seek help or to just, you know, realize that they have to change their ways, then they can do it. I think that that's 
the problem, another um, issue with um, Leo that's a dark side or a shadow side is a lack of humility. And this is something that they have that all Leos have to watch out for. But the ones that you know might have uh, more f afflicted um, Sun and other personal planets might have an even harder time with this. And um, but you know when you get a Leo on a good day, they're just great people. You know you can't say enough about them. That's good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, comment on it, please, if you are a Leo or no Leos. And um, thank you very much. Bye.